How much should you spend on AI tools? This is one of the most common questions I receive on this channel. And guys, in this video, I'm gonna explain my answer. And I'm also going to be fully transparent about my AI tool stack right now and how much I'm spending on certain AI tools. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan. I really appreciate you being here. And my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools, prompts, also strategies I'm using for marketing and content creation, you can get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this below this video. But now let's dive back in. So in preparation for this video, I put together this quick spreadsheet to show you what AI tools I'm using right now and also how much they cost. And you'll notice down here, I'm currently spending $102 a month on AI tools. Now I know to a lot of you, you're gonna think that's very expensive. I agree, that's definitely not cheap to spend on AI tools. But I look at this as an investment, right? So number one, I have an AI YouTube channel. So it's my duty to be properly testing and using the most popular AI tools so I can present them in the best manner to you through different tutorials, updates, etc. I also run a marketing agency. So I rely on a lot of these AI tools to not only help my clients and get better work there, but also on internally on my different processes that I'm running. So that is what I'm spending right now, $102 a month on AI tools. And you'll see right here, here are all the different tools that I'm using. ChatGPT Plus for $20 a month. Claude Pro for $20 a month. SEO Writing AI, that breaks down to about $10.50 after my personal discount. Perplexity Pro, $20 a month. Opus Clip, $19 a month. Kuppa AI, another AI writing tool. I bought the 150 for the year. I probably won't renew it, um, but that's $12.50 a month. Adobe Firefly, that's $4.99 a month, but it's included in my uh, Adobe Photoshop package. Uh, I do use some free tools, Ideogram, the Microsoft Bing Image Creator, and I also use Notebook LM, which is, of course, a free tool offered by Google. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is briefly explaining each one of these and why I decided to pay for the premium models. So starting off with ChatGPT+, Plus, this was actually the second AI purchase that I made. I was previously a subscriber of Jasper. It was known as Jarvis, but now it's known as Jasper. They came before ChatGPT, but they were still using OpenAI's technology on the back end. I just wasn't aware that's how it worked at the time. But I've been a subscriber to ChatGPT+, Plus for over two years now. I use this tool every single day for ideation, content creation, content repurposing, and so many other related tasks. And I will say this, if you only have $20 a month to spend on AI tools, I would definitely start with ChatGPT+. I have a full video explaining is this tool worth it or not and whose situation. Be sure to check that out in the video description below. The last point I want to make on this is that if you look at this $20 a month as just some sunk expense where you're taking it, you're throwing it away, you're never going to get that money back, that is the wrong mentality here. $20 a month into ChatGPT Plus should be viewed as an investment. You could potentially 2x, 3x, 10x whatever you're doing if you know how to properly use this tool. I'll leave all the different related tutorials about ChatGPT and ChatGPT Plus in the video description below, but I can't recommend enough that if you had to start with something start with $20 a month into ChatGPT+. So the second premium AI tool that I use the most is Claude Pro. This also costs $20 a month and I use it to complement my usage with ChatGPT+. So Claude Pro, one of the biggest selling points for me with the Pro version is you get higher usage limits of Claude 3.5 Sonnet. In my opinion, this is the best AI model available right now. I just think its outputs sound more realistic. Uh, they sound more human-like. They sound more empathetic. And you guys can run tests on your own. You can actually use Claude for free. You don't have to pay for it. But obviously, you're very capped at what you can get. And I also love Claude Projects. This is a customized version of Claude, similar to custom GPTs, if you guys have heard of that. And what I love about Claude Projects, you can upload all this different knowledge here. You can set custom instructions. And basically, you can get outputs that sound exactly like you, your brand, or whatever you're trying to accomplish in a particular project. So for me, I have a Ryan Dozer AI agent 
where I've given it all of this knowledge. I have a full tutorial on how to create Claude projects. I'll leave that along with my Claude Pro review in the video description below. But guys, honestly, if you don't want to spend $20 a month on ChatGPT+, the second place that I would look is Claude Pro. So the next premium AI tool that I pay for is called Perplexity Pro. So you probably heard of Perplexity by now. This is an AI powered search engine. I'm going to be honest right from the shoot here. I might actually cancel this soon. Ever since OpenAI released Search GPT and you have Google coming out now with like Learn About, obviously Notebook LM, there are so many different options now available for things that are research related. And that's the kicker here. And that's the selling point of Perplexity Pro is if you guys are in anything research related, I was using this for keyword research. I'm involved in a lot of SEO projects. And so I really like in the pro version how you have uh, more of these pro searches because the quick search, you're better off just going to Google at that point. This is what makes Perplexity shine here are these pro searches. I have a full video about Perplexity Pro, whether it's worth it or not in your situation, you can find that in the video description below. You also get access to what are called spaces. So I made like a keyword research assistant here. Uh, I made an AI marketing research and there's some other ones that they made. Um, but long story short, again, be sure to check out my video on Perplexity Pro in the description below. If you're not doing anything that involves intensive research, probably not worth it for you. Now, another AI tool that I pay for is called SEO Writing AI. This is my favorite AI writing tool for creating long form SEO optimized blog posts at scale. If I go back to this spreadsheet, I'm paying about $10.50 a month for this tool. I do have a special discount if you wanna try it for free. You can find that below this video. I also have a full review of SEO Writing AI. Be sure to watch that before buying anything. So I love this tool and I've tested all of them, right? I've tested Jasper, Write Sonic, Copy, AI, Writer, Blaze, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's a million AI writing tools and all of them are white label open AI. But honestly, guys, I do like SEO writing AI for the price point that you get. And I also love the interface versus trying to do this inside a chat GPT interface, right? So the one click blog post is really the bread and butter of this tool. And if you're involved in anything related to creating long form SEO optimized blog posts and need to do it at scale with quality, I would at least try this tool for free. They have a free plan. You get up to five blogs a month. Um, so that's just another one that I've used for quite some time now is SEO writing AI. Now, another premium AI tool that I've been paying for for a while now is called Opus Clip. This costs about $19 a month. And what this does is it takes a long form video or podcast episode, uses AI to chop it up, repurpose it into these 30 to 60 second short form clips optimized for mobile ads, engaging subtitles. You can auto schedule this on your social media accounts and schedule it out for months. Um, so that's really beneficial. It even generates an AI title, AI description. It went through the entire video and found the certain spots that it think will do the best with the score here on the hook flow value trend. I am just a big fan of Opus Clip. If you're doing anything related to video content, you need a quick way to repurpose that to other mediums. So right here on my YouTube shorts, most of these are from Opus Click on that auto scheduler, right? So right here, I'm getting 400 some views on these videos. Now, are these videos the best videos of all time? No, they're not. But when I'm posting shorts like this and they're all getting 300, 400 some views, those are views that I never would have gotten if I didn't repurpose a long form podcast episode into short form clips on my YouTube shorts channel. Same to be said with TikTok, Instagram Reels, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. You can post these short form videos wherever. So if you're doing anything related to video content creation, I would highly recommend investing $19 a month into Opus Clip. If you're not doing anything video related, I would not put your money into Opus Clip. Now, if you're doing anything that relates to AI image generation, obviously Mid Journey is the big player. I believe they start at $10 a month. You can actually get Adobe Firefly for $4.99. I don't know the amount of limits that you get or the usage with that plan. I have it included in my Adobe Photoshop plan. And if you are paying for Adobe products like Photoshop, Premiere, After Effects, Illustrate, I would check to see if you already have Firefly. That's how I discovered I had it. So that's the first thing that I would do. 
But you'll see right here, this is an advanced AI image generation model. Look how realistic some of these headshots are. This is just a super quick example that I did with this prompt here of a realistic headshot of a 30-year-old male in a corporate suit. Some of these are extremely realistic. I did one of a golf course here. Um, so, I mean, the sky's the limit, right, with AI image generation. You can do whatever. But if you want to pay a little extra for more premium AI images, I would look into Adobe Firefly. And if you don't want to pay for AI images, I would start with something like Ideogram. I use Ideogram here and there for some quick images. And I also use the Microsoft Bing Image Creator. Both of these are 100% free to use. The nice part about Ideogram is you get, I believe, up to 40 images a day. I don't know of many other free AI image generators that get you that many images. They had a big update, Ideogram 2.0. So you can see some of the, the work here generated by this model. It is very high quality. Same with the Bing Image Creator. This is Dolly 3 for free, essentially. All you need is a Microsoft account to start using it. So that's where I would start if you don't want to pay for something like Adobe Firefly or Midjourney when it comes to AI images. Now, I'm going to assume many of you have already explored some of these last tools I'm going to talk about, but obviously you have Notebook LM. I have several videos on my channel explaining this, some real world applications. I'd check those out if you want to learn more about Notebook LM. This is an amazing free tool offered by Google. I find myself using this sometimes to break down complex topics into an AI audio overview right here. So an AI podcast is what many people are referring this to. It uh, gives you an FAQ, study guide, table of contents, briefing doc, time timeline, summary. You can upload your own sources here and you can do this for any topic. Notebook LM is just such a great tool that you can start using for free. Now, Google Illuminate, many aren't aware of this one. This is another tool that can generate AI, AI generated audio discussions. The only difference here is that you can't upload your own sources like you can in Notebook LM. Just another free option if you want to explore that. But Notebook LM is one of my favorite free AI tools that I use right now to help me with a lot of different things. Now, I know I just went through a lot there, and I don't expect anyone watching this to be spending over $100 a month on AI tools. If you are, let me know in the comment section below on what you're using, but I'm assuming most of you aren't running an AI YouTube channel, and you're also not running a marketing agency where these expenses can be justified. Now, when it comes to the question of how much should I be spending on AI tools, here is my final answer. For the average person, ChatGPT Plus will get you the most bang for your buck. For only $20 a month, again, this is an investment. I can't bring this point home enough where some people look at this and think this is just an expense where you light $20 on fire and you get nothing back from it. This could be the best investment that you could make in your life is $20 a month into a tool like ChatGPT+. Remember, I don't even get a kickback from me telling you this. And if you don't want to pay for ChatGPT+, Claude Pro would be my second recommendation. But most people will find more use for ChatGPT+, than Claude Pro. Now, what I will say is if you're into writing long-form SEO-optimized blog posts, if that's something that you do for your career or just as a side project, maybe look into an SEO writing AI. If you're doing anything heavily research-related, maybe look into Perplexity Pro. If you're doing video content creation, look into Opus Clip. Cup of AI, I didn't cover that because I'm probably going to cancel it. Another long form SEO optimized blog post tool. If you're doing anything image related, maybe investing in Adobe Firefly or Midjourney might be worth it. Or you can use some of these free image generators. You can use Notebook LM for free, right? So again, let's say, for example, you do a lot of content creation. I would recommend ChatGPT Plus and SEO Writing AI. Let's say you do a lot with image generation. I'd recommend ChatGPT Plus, and I would also recommend Adobe Firefly, right? So you guys see where I'm going with this. I think at a foundational level, everyone should have ChatGPT Plus. And then on top of that, it depends on your specific use cases. But that is my final answer. And I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. What AI tools are you using? What AI tools are you looking into? How can I help? Are there any other reviews you guys want to see out of me? So let me know in the comments below. So with all of that being said, I appreciate you all who have made it this far. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you found value in what I'm saying. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.